How's it going guys? Joe here from Big Shark. You can follow us on twitch.tv slash Big Shark Gaming as well if you want to see these videos in full and also like them here on TikTok. Today we are doing a new entry of How to Win series. This is season 9 only, so we are starting with Spurgatito, Florigato, Meow Scarada, Fuecoco, Crocolore, and Skeledurge. I don't want to be the guy who says, hey, I won this on my first try, but I genuinely won this on my first try. Against Ibu J. Uh, this was in Gen 9, Anything Goes, so that's why he has multi-species there on his electrodes. And I knew right off the bat what he was going to do. I did some things that kind of shot myself in the foot here, but let's actually go ahead and play the video. So I start off with Skeledurge, no electrodes coming out. The Thunder Wave actually was critical for him as this first turn, I actually get Thunder Wave. I was just going to start looking to do Torch Song. And out comes the Shiny Boys, who were just going to sit here and explode until he eventually gets down to the Supreme Warlord and King Gambit. Uh, so here we are just exploding. All my torch songs are failing because there's obviously no target. Now, this battle doesn't get so simple. I figured once I get down to uh, King Gambit, Skeldurge versus King Gambit, it's a pretty easy battle for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't go well. So there you see Supreme Overlord. He actually um, terrestrializes into poison, and that's going to be helpful for him because he does have Black Sludge on. It's a nice little play. Um, unfortunately, the paralysis gets through there, and it ruins my day. I'm going to go out into Fue Coco here, who actually surprisingly lives at Kowtow Cleave. Um, I hit him with the Yawn and now an Encore. I try to get him into Iron Defense. Unfortunately, he gets Kowtow Cleave out again. It just happens to uh, get locked into that. That's how it works. So I get the Fire Spin off here. Unfortunately, Fuikoko does not learn Toxic. Not that it would work on the Poison type anyway. And I'm trying to just drain him down here with the actual Fire Spin. He wakes up there and he gets through. I was hoping that I might be able to get a Yawn off again, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. We get Forgata coming out here. And I actually Terrestrialize into Normal, which is a downside for me. Um, I, I mean, a protein into normal, not terrestrialize. Uh, protein probably shouldn't have been on there. Should have probably just went with overgrow, but who could have forced all this in the first battle? Um, Air Slash brings my Spurgatito down to its focus sash, um, but it's okay. We got it seeded now, which is actually going to be critical to this gameplay. Um, and there goes my Spurgatito. So now all of a sudden it's looking a little bit dicey. Out comes my Crocolore. I go for the sub. He goes for the cow type cleave, which kills my sub. Um, nothing I can do about it there. So I'm just going to say, hey, listen, I have enough defense already. I was at 420 with the Evolite. I'm going to go into doing my curse. He goes for another iron defense and air slash does absolutely nothing, but he gets to flinch. Of course, he gets all the RNG in this battle. Leech Seed is bringing me back up. Kowtow Cleave only does 26, which means it's about a four hit kill. I get another curse in here as well, and I'm going to get more Leech Seed. He goes for the Brick Break, 11% damage, almost nothing. Stomping Tantrum is going to do 11% to him, and I'm going to get all my health back basically with the Leech Seed. So that actually was a critical play, and the Stomping Tantrum takes him out there. GG's to Ibu GG. Uh, one and done. Can't really complain or beat that. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that follow button. Follow us on Twitch. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Big Shark. We are doing another Winning with Air Pokemon Season 9, and now I know I could talk a little bit slower, because the last time I thought the limit was 3 minutes on a video, turns out it's actually, what, 30 minutes? So I could talk a little bit slower, but still, we're gonna get right into this battle. This is set number 2, so Quaxley through Tarantula. And this was actually a pretty good battle. I made some mistakes that'll always happen. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this. I knew right off the bat what he was trying to do. So out comes Eevee. Uh, I'm going to go for the Sticky Web here. He goes for the Quick Attack. And I go for Memento. So that's my Tarantula down. But also his Eevee is just kind of chilling. I go for my Oink alone. I hit the Trailblaze. Now I am going to take uh, the Toxicorp here. I'm running a Facade set on him. Um, so he gets Linger Aroma, I get Drowsy, Facade actually kills Eevee, and that drops my Drowsy. Out comes Palmot, I ate him with the Facade as well. He gives me a close combat, that kills me, um, lowers his stats, and he also gets Linger Aroma. It's just going to pass on. Uh, he goes for Revival Blessing, there goes Palmot, um, and he's going to bring back his Eevee. So out comes his Electrode, and I know exactly what's going to happen. I go for the Protect and Explosion. And now I go for the double protect because I know, hey, this is going to be explosion. And I get it. So that's two explosions that I've avoided and also seven electrodes that I've seen in three battles. So that's funny. Uh, I get drowsy. He gets drowsy. Betrayed drowsies. I swap out. He goes for the quick attack. Now I know he's going to fall asleep. And I know I need to be faster than Calyrex. So I go for the aqua step to get the boost. And now I'm faster. Um, I wasn't sure what he'd be running after the actual sticky web as well. Terrestrialized Flare on Grass surprised me for some reason, and I get Terror Blasted out of my boots, and, or clogs, and I am done. So out comes Quaxley, who's funny, faster than Flareon. Gives me the Terror Blast, that brings me out of my Sash, and now I'm going to be able to take out his Flareon with my Quaxley. So, out comes Calyrex. Now this is scary, because Calyrex is a scary Pokemon. Um, he goes for the Astral Barrage, of course I'm going to die, I have 1 HP. 
and then he gets his as one boost and that's always scary out comes the chunk double kick it doesn't kill me surprise um so that's always good i use endeavor i forgot he was a ghost i forgot he was a ghost so double kill kills my little chunk he gets another boost on his special attack don't know why he's running double kick but whatever he forgets to double kick swap off of that onto my quaxley i liquidation and i have aqua jet so <laughs> i've somehow won um i thought i was gonna lose this battle for sure i messed up they messed up shout outs to floofin uh gg and this one is done and dusted two attempts total on to the next ones hello everybody welcome back to another episode of big shark today we are playing more pokemon shonen winning with every pokemon gen 9 today we are working from spite ops to palmot and we have a battle against the birds in dc3 dubs shout out to dc3 was a great sport during this entire battle i love the team always birds always birds if you want to follow us on twitch it's twitch.tv slash big shark gaming and let's get right into this battle oh god oh god very loud hold on music off you saw nothing all right, so I start with Spite Ops, we start with Squawk Billy. It is mandatory that we actually use Sticky Web on this guy. I don't really like it. I want to do something different. Uh, Circle Throw misses. He has Toxic, so he's clearly going to be running a Facade set. Um, and his Brave Bird hits twice, so Toxic coming out. Now this is where it gets fun. I use Protect. He uses Facade, and that's just going to be pointless Toxic damage. I switch back into Low Kicks. He uses Facade again, and it misses, so it reveals he has Hustle. Um, which is funny, because... He was like, why do my attacks keep missing? And I was like, do you have hustle? He's like, oh, yes. So here comes the Flamigo, goes for Brave Bird. I just wanted to scout it. And then he used Brave Bird again, down the Sash. And it's counter time! Counter takes out Flamigo. And now Low Kicks is getting killed by the Bombardier. Dual Wing Beat. Paul me. Uh, I go for the Fake Out, hit him. He terrorizes into Rock. And then he hits me with Rock Blast. And that's going to kill my Palmy. So no nuzzle. I didn't get it out. Uh, Paul... Paul Mo with the fake out. Again, next to no damage. And I go for the mock punch. That does more damage. I'm heavily light set on this guy. The defense is still not great. But FEO light. I don't know what I said the first time. Mock punch. And then he goes for dual wing beat. That's not going to take me out. And then I'm going to mock punch him once again. And he sark punches me. I survive. Um, but mock punch kills his bird. So here comes Deli Bird who eye shards me for the counter kill. And it did get interesting here. I go for the dark pulse. He hits me with air release. That almost kills me. He goes for Ice Shard, that does kill me, and now Paul Mott versus 3. Fake Out takes him out, and now he comes out with Halucha. I Terrasalize, Electric, Thunder Punch, one shots Halucha. And then out comes Oricorio, Thunder Punch, kills Oricorio. And that is the battle, so four attempts. I did happen to run into a second battle that I won, but it was a surrender, and it didn't really showcase a lot of teams, so I decided not to post it. And then I ran into a team that was all um, mouse holds, and that was... Not fun. Hey, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit that red heart button. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on YouTube.com slash Picture Gaming and Twitch.tv slash Picture Gaming as well. Thank you guys. If you like in the series, make sure to hit that like button. Bye, everybody. How's it going, guys? Joe here from Big Shark. And today, we're going to be doing set number four in Gen 9's Winning with Every Pokemon Contest. We have been using Pokemon 19 through 24. This is our third overall attempt with this set. Um, it's a little bit of a funny set. Normally, I wouldn't include a video like this either, but it was kind of funny. And looking at the opposing team, it's just like, how did this happen? Um, so let's get right into it. If you guys want to see me use this team again, I definitely will. Just comment down below and uh, follow us on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv slash Big Shark Gaming. Let's get right into this video. All right. So he starts off with a turn of this. I start off with Small Liv. He goes for the Fire Blast. I presume moving down to my Sash. That's fine. I'm hoping to avoid the burn here and get my Grassy Terrain out. So he goes for the Fire Blast, that's Small of Dead, and out comes my Dox Bun. So my Dox Bun is using a Grassy Seed for defense, because I'm planning on using um, Body Press. So he actually goes for Pyro Ball here. I'm well baked, so that gets me more defense, and now Body Press is just going to be absurdly strong. He goes for Drum Beating, that lowers my speed, does some decent damage. Body Press does a lot of damage, though. He gets healed from the Grassy Terrain, I get healed from the Grassy Terrain. He goes for Wood Hammer. Still not really doing that much damage to Doxbun. And then I hit him with the body press, and that's over. So out comes Koridon. He goes for the collision course. Still doesn't do too much. I have a lot of defense now. I go for the play rough, and that's Koridon down. And this is where he quits. So that's really it. Um, unfortunately, it was a three Pokemon sweep with Doxbun. Um, if, like I said, if you guys want to see me use this team again, comment down below. Hit that red heart button. really supports the channel. And thank you guys for checking out our Winning with Every Pokemon series. We've got another video coming soon.
How's it going, guys? Joe here from Big Shark, twitch.tv slash Big Shark Gaming. Today we are doing another one of our Winning with Every Pokemon Gen 9 edition. We are on Pokemons 25 through 30. So if you've missed any of the previous videos, go back and watch them. Um, they're all up on the channel. As you can see in the bottom left corner, just did take five attempts. And I uh, got a little bit lucky here with somebody who might have put a team together, was told they could only play in Anything Goes, and then played in Anything Goes and didn't really know what they were doing. So that's always beneficial. We're going to go in fast mode. So let's get going. He starts off with Kyogre. I start off with Knackley. He goes for Hydro Pump. It misses. I can get my rocks up. He goes for Hydro Pump again. It hits me. Bring me brings me down to my sturdy. I go for Stone Edge. Surprising amount of damage there. Um, ice Beam is going to take care of my little Knackley though. So Arbolova comes out. Eats an Ice Beam. I get a Giga Drain out. Do a ton of damage to it. And I'm going to heal some back. He goes for Blizzard. That almost kills me. It doesn't. The Apple Berry pops. I get Giga Drain. I get a little bit more health back here. And then I get my Berry back. Out comes Tandem Mouse. So I swatch out into my Garganical because I knew that it's not really going to do much damage to me. Uh, I don't know why it's Tandem Mouse and not Mouse Hold. Maybe he just doesn't like Mouse Hold. But he is going to fill up my entire screen with text here. So we wait. <laughs> it hits me eight times. Doesn't really do too much damage. I'm running a special attacking uh, gar uh, well, Garganical. Uh, because reasons, you know, I don't want to be typical. He gets crit there, doesn't kill me, um, but it puts me in a pretty bad spot. I don't really have anything to hit Annihilate here, um, so there goes my Gargana Garganical. Squawkabilly comes out, eats a Drain Punch right away, not great, um, and Brave Bird doesn't kill him, but it brings it on to 8%. I get burned, which is great, because I'm running Guts, and but it's going to kill me anyway. I should have ran Quick Attack, but wouldn't have hit uh, Annihilate anyway. So out comes Charcadet. He switches into Charizard and takes half his HP. I think he goes for Dragon Tail there. Because um, he goes second and Charcadet kills Charizard. Um, so Dalga gets a burn here. And then there goes my Charcadet to Earthquake. So this is Origin Form Dialga who is now burned. He goes for Blizzard um, on my Knackle stack. I go for a Sub. He is going to go for Blizzard again. It's in a miss. So I'm going to get a free Iron Defense here. I'm running Iron Defense and Body Press. Blizzard finally hits. Kills my sub. I get another iron defense out. He goes for blizzard again. Does about 40%. And then I body press. And there goes Dialga. So out comes Arceus Fairy. He goes for body press. Weird. Don't know why he does that. I get the recover out. Because I kind of anticipated I would survive. I don't. This might be an extreme speed set. He goes for avalanche. Nothing. Uh, Dazzling Gleam. Finally a move that hits me. And then he doesn't do it again. So I don't know why he went back with body press there. I, I go for body press on my own. Doesn't do too much. It's resisted. Uh, he's going to go for Dazzling Gleam again. I'm going to get my recover in. And now he's learned. Dazzling Gleam is the way to go. So he's going to do it again. I'm down to 7%. I go for the Body Press. He's down to 14 And he takes out my Knackle Stack, which is, oh, whatever. Um, here comes my Arbelva. I go for Giga Drain. I think he went for Avalanche there. I terror fired anyway, so. Now he goes for Nightshade. Don't know why, but I'm not complaining. I don't know if Drain Punch kills me there. I would think it does, but he goes for Nightshade. Maybe he saw me using Nightshade earlier and didn't know what it does and just thought it was stronger. Couldn't tell you. Um, maybe he thought I had less than 100 HP. Couldn't tell you. But he used it, and I uh, took advantage of it. So this is uh, 25 through 30 done. Moving right along. Follow us on TikTok. Hit that red button and check us out on Twitch. I'm streaming, I'm recording a lot of these at the same time. That's why you see the follower not going up. But I really appreciate that being 180. So, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye, everybody.